So, welcome to an extremely busy Suffolk Water Park where today we have come down to carry out quite a simple test. And what we're going to be doing today is putting against each other two methods. One of the most popular match fishing methods, which is the method feeder, against arguably one of the most popular methods for carp fishing, the solid PVA bag, to find out if one or if any are better than the other. So that's the experiment. I've just popped out perhaps 10 or 15 spawns to get the swim going. I've got to get the gear ready and then we'll talk to you a lot more about them in case you've not seen either of the methods before. There we go, that's both rods out there. So, pause that video now, put us in a comment what method you think is gonna win, and we're gonna get the kettle on and get this experiment underway. Turn that off, that's fine. Well, that hasn't taken very long, has it? The PVA bag. Funny little bites, sort of pulled up tight and held there, but yeah, I think today, from seeing a fair few fish in front of us, it's going to be a decent day's fishing. But to be a fair test, you know, you need to catch a few fish. So let's not jinx it, because that's probably been about 10 minutes. Let's hope that the rest of the day continues like that. But yeah, as I said, I mean, regardless if I land it, we probably should count this as a bite to the, the bag. and not the method feeder so we'll well we'll do it with fish landing let's do it fairly so if we get this one in it will be one nil to the pba bag so let's concentrate on that we'll have a look at the first one well that is exactly what we chose to come here for suffer walk park hopefully it's going to be good for a few bites Nothing massive, but if you're going to do a test like this, fishing for one bite, it's not really going to be fair, is it? So hopefully, plenty of fish on the cards. But in the spirit of fairness, to get the bag straight back out there fishing against the meth feeder again, I'm going to get this one unhooked, get another bag out there, and then we'll take a look at it. There we go, that is not a bad start. Fish number one, and hopefully they're around this size. That would do. I used to match fish this when I was a lot younger, and they certainly were a lot smaller than this, but since it's progressed a little bit, now a bit more carp fishing is done on here. So yeah, hopefully a few around this side. It wouldn't surprise me if we caught some a bit smaller, but it's not a bad start. And both rods are fishing. Let's see what happens next. So just five minutes to enjoy my tea and I guess I should probably give my prediction as I've asked for everyone else's. Now, in a situation like we've got here, a completely flat, featureless bottom, I think they present pretty much the same. So it's gonna be really close. The only reason I would go perhaps slightly towards the method feeder because it was a match venue today, perhaps used to it. And also it's a little bit quicker, but PV bags definitely give you more options, which I'll talk you through later. Bite number two, and shows how much I know, doesn't it? It's on the PVA bags again. So if um, this one gets in, it's going to be two nil. Not to say that that's going to how it's finished or it's going to outfish it, but yeah, certainly the first two bites have been on the PVA bag, and 
actually weird buy it was like a drop back then a take then a drop back <laughs> didn't quite know what was going on but no one coming to net and i don't think it is big this time definitely not as big Come on. it's another fish and in the spirit of fairness like we said we're gonna leave him there get another bag out Well, there we go. Definitely an awful lot smaller. Probably what I used to catch when I come down. I guess it proves one thing, and that's that PV Bags catches fish of all size. So both of those rods are fishing again. 2-0 at the moment. And because the bag's the one that's working, we will talk you through a bit more detail about the rig. Right, so currently 2-0, and as we are catching on the bag, it's a perfect time to talk through a bit more about it. I mean, I'm guessing most people have seen it, but if you're new into fishing or you're getting into it, then you might find this useful. So it is very important to be quite prepared, especially on a busy venue. That's why I sort of said the method feeder might be quicker because they can be quite awkward if you have to keep retying them. But when you get used to it, and certainly if you use the Fox Repeat system, which we've got here, then they tie up really quickly. So I'll show you how to tie it in a second, but basically it's just a perfect parcel of bait. So what I do to get myself prepared, is I put it on literally a little leader. This is about a foot long. He's an inline lead with a large tail rubber. That'll become apparent why later. A short three or four inch hook link, and then a small wafter hook bait. So it's really simple actually in the rig terms of it, but it's more about how it presents into the bait. So onto the actual loading it and making it yourself. So the Rapid system comes with a little self loader. And then you wanna make sure you use fairly small pellets because it just makes it so much easier. Put yourself a little layer in first. Then you drop in hook bait and I put my lead in there straight away and another layer on top and then just to separate those two lift the lead up slightly and then you can put one final layer of pellets back over your bag don't fill it too much i'm not going to worry about this being too neat if i was fishing a harder venue and i want to get absolutely spot on was cast a long way i'd really spend time doing this bag but because hopefully it's going to be fairly good action wise we're not going to worry too much but now we just hold the bag against the system and we twist a couple of turns so it's nice and tight. Lick around the top and then you push over the collar over the bag. So now I'm just gonna tip out a few extra pellets and that now comes nicely. Now it's a case of lick and stick the corners. So lick that, I've got a pellet in my mouth. Spin this one, lick that. And there we go, we have a neat parcel of bait with your bait right in the middle. And that's why they're so good. They can't tangle. You can fish them on loads of situations. And this is where I said probably outfishing the method feeder on other areas and you can put different stuff in it. You're quite limited to pellets or ground bit on a method feeder and we will run through that in a bit. But in this, as long as it's PVA friendly, you can put absolutely anything. So maggots in the winter is really good stuff like that is really really effective but there you go nice and quick to tie up and if you've got i've got another one actually here already done so tend to have three or four on the go and basically as soon as you get a bike tie another one up and then in your main line i've just got a big loop and i just loop to loop that on through there so they change really quickly and once you get used to tying them they're pretty effective as well so there we go two rods fishing we will see what happens next see if this pulls ahead even further or if indeed the method feeder makes a comeback. Oh dear, that's one uh, side effect of solid bags and small baits. Little bream like it as well. No more of those please, but here's another bite, okay? So I don't mind if they're big, but no of that size. Well, this is starting to get me thinking, to be honest, because this is another one 
on the PVA bag and that one wasn't messing about that was just a absolute one toner but yeah it's I, I don't know I'm fishing exactly the same spot literally they're like but they're like a foot apart so there's no way you could say it's because it's the left hand rod or anything like that so hmm odd one but what I'll do is concentrate on getting this one in feels like it's a bit more weight so hopefully it's a little bit bigger than the last one and then I'm going to refresh the method feeder rod just in case anything's wrong with it and then probably put out three or four more spawns of bait as well because clearly there's a few fish there and you want to keep them coming so that's the plan stop talking concentrate on getting this one in and then uh, have a refresh and a bit more bait And there we go, a trio of commons for the PVA bag. So the sun's come out as well, which is quite nice. Temperature's warming up and we're catching a few fish. But what I'm gonna do is get this one back and then I'm gonna get a bit more bait out there and then refresh that method feeder. So just while we're refreshing this meth feeder rod, we'll show you this as well. And again, I'm sure most people have seen it, but if you haven't, it might be interesting. And it creates a very similar style and presentation to the bag. And that's why I was really interested to see if it makes a difference. And the method feeder, to be honest, has been my favorite way of fishing for years. So at the moment, things are going on in my head and I'm not too happy why it's getting beat so much, but that might be worth, um, you know, experimenting further and could we be doing something a bit different? But we'll talk through it. So the method feeder runs straight through onto the main line, nothing complicated there, onto a swivel, and exactly the same as the bag. You've got a short braided hook link and a little tiny wafter. The only difference really is how you load it and the speed of the bait. So you need some either two mil pellets or ground bait. Now we've gone for pellets today, purely because it's the same as what's going in the bag. So try to keep it as fair as you can. You soak those for a couple of minutes and there you go. They, they soak up nice and well. And what you get with the method feeders, you get a little mold, that lays in there you put a pinch of pellets on fold it over itself give it a good squeeze and there you go that's how you can see the presentation is so similar to what you've achieved in that PVA bag but it takes seconds and that's why I think it's really popular for the match anglers so that's ready to go out there let's get it fired out there see if it can pull back or like I said, if I need to be thinking a little bit more into this and why is the bag out fishing it. But for now, let's get it out there, try and get some fish on the board and then see what these scores say. That's a bit of faith restored. A bite on the method feeder. <laughs> Jury's out on that one. It's an F1. I'm not sure if we can kind of, but it is a carp, so I'm going to give it a bite. Hmm. <laughs> match fish on a match method. <laughs> No, I do. And another one for the method feeder. Really? Is it really doing this? We 
we've literally had no rain. Guess what we've we got in the UK. We've literally had no rain here for about two months. This is we've not really been filming for two months, and we're out today. And perfect PVA bag weather. This is <laughs> absolutely perfect. is much more like it. First move of the day in amongst those commons and another one to the PVA bag. And in amongst what can only be described as a horrendous rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Literally for like two minutes, it really did come down. But that one is pretty nice. Right, score update time. And it is currently 4-2 to the solid bags and this one is also on the solid bags so it's being pretty dominant if I'm fair and the fish have definitely been bigger we've not we've had a few bream on both rods we're not counting those I had an F1 that I did count on the method video just because it is a carp although probably not the the king carp species that you'd look for but yeah I don't really know why this is producing bigger fish because we've got the same hook baits on so it's not that I mean, it could just be pure luck, but you'd like to think that, you know, if this comes in, that's now 5-2 with a definite increase in the size on the PV bag. So yeah, maybe there is something in it. You don't know, but I'm in, it's soaked through now. <laughs> we had a really big downpour and uh, dashed under the brolly, but we weren't really set and prepared for it. So, oh well, we're catching fish, who cares? And, this one isn't too far away now, so I'm going to concentrate. See if we've got another one to show you. Well, there we go. Certainly not the biggest, but definitely the best looking one of today and confirmation now it's in the net of the score being 5-2. So what I'm going to do and the plan is refresh both those rods, get some more bait out there and I'm probably going to give it let's say another hour's fishing, see what the final score is and then make some sort of conclusion as to what we think is happening out there. One in there, one on there. <laughs> Perhaps I should have set two nets up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did have two. <laughs> you did have two. One decided to swim away, and one decided to soak in. That is the worst release we have ever recorded, <laughs> bar none. Uh, What's the scores? Seven. Three? Three, I think. Yeah, seven, three. on the method well we are gonna call this one the last fish it's got to that time of the day where you need to start thinking about packing up you've got to be off here by six and 
in true fashion as it's got later. It's been pretty hard to keep two rods in the water at the end there. But if we get this fish in, the final score is going to be 7-4. So the bags have clearly won. What I'll do is I'll concentrate on getting this in. Hopefully we'll have one last nice fish to show you. And then I'll try and come up with some reasoning as to why I think one has outfished the other. Although it's not an absolute whitewash. 7-4 is fairly close, you could say. But I would definitely say that we've had quite a few bream that we haven't shown on camera. And more of those have definitely come on the bags as well. So for us here, filming, it feels potentially that the bags have definitely outfished a method. But this one's not too far away. We're going to have one last fish to show you. There we go. I'm finishing. And to finish, we have a common for you. A slightly better one for what we've had on the method feeder. We've definitely, like I said earlier though, had the bigger fish on the PVA bags. But there we go, one to finish on with the final scores being seven, four. four. <laughs> well remembered, Chris. <laughs> I just got confused then. <laughs> seven, four for the finish. Well, there we go. We are done and a finish of 7-4, but we didn't show you all the bream and definitely the bags caught more fish. Now, I've been racking brains to why and to be honest, I've really struggled because the whole point of it was that I thought it was going to be their presentations are pretty much the same, but the method is a lot easier to do. You know, put it in a mould, you're out there, you haven't got to tie rigs or have other ones ready for you. But it didn't seem like that, so I've got to really think about why. And the two things that potentially come to mind, one is I think it holds a little bit more bait. So certainly if you use a bigger bag, it can be a, a bigger area of attraction for the fish to home in on. But I was fishing it over a spotted area, so I don't really know how much truth there is behind that. And secondly, I think perhaps it's 100% delivering a nice neat pile of bait on the bottom. If you haven't watched, and it was an eye opener for me, was the Matrix Submerge when I think it was Mark Pollard done the method feeder fishing. And if you don't hit your clip perfectly, you can catapult your bait off and your method will sink a little bit further and your bait washes off like over your line about a foot shorter. So maybe on the odd cast that's happened, you don't know. But I mean, I've caught so many fish in the method, so has everybody else in the country. You know, it, it is so effective. So perhaps there's more to think about. And if you've got your own theories as to what's happening or why it was better, it'd be great to hear it. I mean, you could potentially come and do this experiment tomorrow and it would flip around and you'd catch more in a method feeder. So I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer. I think they're both amazing methods. We've caught a load of fish and it's been super enjoyable. So I hope you've taken something from it. I certainly have. I'm gonna go home and think about it. But as always, a huge thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out but we will see you again on the next one.